Father William Mooney is one of the Irish missionaries who have excelled as a pastor in wonderful ways. He uh, was ordained in 1968 uh, for the Diocese of Limerick, Ireland. And he came to our diocese and taught high school. At that time, the Diocese of St. Augustine was for the entire state of Florida. And so Father was in, taught in high school in Tallahassee, Pensacola, and also taught at Bishop Kenny High School. Um, he was associate pastor of the Cathedral, St. Stephen, Blessed Trinity, uh, St. Mary's for Walton Beach, St. Ambrose, Our Lady of Good Counsel. Uh, in all the places, he served with care. He served with generosity. He was named administrator uh, of Corpus Christi Mission in 1977. And so for the last 30 years, he has served this community with such distinction. All what you see there is instrument. He has been instrument of that, uh, the, the beautiful church, the wonderful parish center, the wonderful field, keeping a parish in a magnificent financial state, having the love of the community. He has given great care to the promotion of priests and have been a good counsel, counselor. He has been a good spiritual director, a man of prayer. Uh, I am so happy the community is recognizing him in his 50th anniversary, his golden anniversary of priesthood for someone who has given it all for the church here in Florida. We are so blessed to celebrate him. Father Mooney, my favorite priest. Quick message before we start this dedication. Priest is one that makes Christ visible. When I step back and watch you in the altar or working with other people, I feel like sometimes I can see Christ working through you. I often hear of older parishioners and priests saying, Father Moon is the real deal, a priest priest, a very holy man. For me, you've become what you were called to be, a spiritual father, a friend, and a huge part of my family. This video celebrates you in the way you accept all of us as we are. You never impose your will, but you let thy will be done. Thank you for your love and patience with my spiritual growth. It's been my honor to create and present this video to you. Billy, I hope you're well. I can't believe it's 50 years since you made your ordination. I can remember it so well. The great excitement, that lovely long hot summer. All six of us packed into the back of the car, making our way down to Kilkenny. All excited, looking forward to the weekend's events. First of all, staying in a hotel for the first time. And then the following day, going over to the college that you had told us so much about and uh, where you were ordained. It was a lovely ceremony. I remember it was actually very emotional. Grandma shed a tear and so did my mother. It was lovely. And then afterwards we went out into the gardens, the beautiful gardens of the college and had an outdoor picnic. And that evening we made the epic journey up to Sligo where Grandma had a feast and a banquet prepared for us all and half the town is Ligo. But of course, the highlight of the whole weekend was when you said your first mass in, in Sligo Cathedral and Brandy the dog escaped. 
out of the back garden and made his way up the aisle, waiting for to receive communion from the newly ordained priest. We all laughed so much, it was so funny. Well, I hope you have a good laugh this weekend, at this time, and enjoy your celebrations. I wish I was there, I'm sorry I can't make it, but hopefully soon I'll make it and it's our turn now to visit you after all the years you spent coming to visit us. So for now, Bon Saltas, Agus Long Gafo. Billy, happy 15th anniversary. Uh, hope you have a wonderful day. And Tom said to thank you for marrying us 48 years ago. Oh, and Billy, I, I forgive you for that, but um, you don't hold a grudge. I don't hold, <laughs> I don't hold a grudge. And I would like to wish you many years of health and happiness, Billy. You deserve it. Father Mooney, it's a great honor to celebrate your 50th uh, priestly anniversary. I remember 25 years ago, coming from Gainesville, when I was a young priest, to celebrate your 25th. Um, again, it's a great honor today uh, to, to, to wish you a, a happy anniversary. It's amazing that you um, have uh, served the Lord for 50 years. What a great honor, what a tremendous honor it is, uh, especially here at this parish of Corpus Christi serving here for 42 years and building up such a wonderful community. So on behalf of myself and I'm sure, I'm sure on behalf of the community here at Corpus Christi, we want to wish you a very happy priestly anniversary. May God bless you.
Mother Mooney, Pat Richardson here. I want to thank you for all of your spiritual guidance and enlightening talks that you always gave to the Guild over the years. After 28 years of giving you a hard time by celebrating your birthdays, anniversaries, and anything else that I could possibly think of, knowing full well that your own humble self never wanted any of it, I appreciate that you put up with me. You still prayed and counseled for me whenever I was there in need. Even though I once brought in a one-man band to celebrate a concert just for you. Father, I wish you the best. And I look forward to not only to your spiritual counseling in the future, but also to our treasured friendship. I want to thank you and God be with you. It's great to know you all these years. I'm proud to call you my friend. God bless you and keep you. Kathy Boyce at Cathedral Parish School. We miss you. The kids love the candy. They love the Tootsie Pops, but they especially love you. So we really appreciate you coming out to support us. They know all the wonderful things that you've done for us behind the scenes, whether it be for our computer lab and all the needs of our technology, our science lab, just so many things that you've reached out to us, always asking us if we need anything. We love the solar eclipse and all the information you gave us about that and treasure those pictures. And when I visited Corpus Christi, I couldn't believe how beautiful all the symbols and all the statues and all the paintings, all the wonderful works of art that you bring to our actually parish. So thank you, Father Mooney. You take care and we miss you and wish you all the best and celebrate that 50th anniversary with love from all of us. Thank you, Father Mooney, for everything you've done for us here at CPS. You have always been a constant reminder of generosity and God's grace. You have been most generous to us here in science, donating the tables, this beautiful microscope. I have a lot of really great fossils I never would be able to afford if you didn't donate them, so thank you so much. We love you, and we hope that you have a wonderful, day today, um, and we all want to tell you what we think of you. We love you, Father Rudy. Love you. Father Rudy, I cannot thank you enough for your loving heart, for all that you've done for Cathedral Parish School. This computer lab would not exist without your generosity and love for our children. I am just so, so grateful that we were able to, per to have these new computers that you have so generously given us. I can't thank you enough. Your heart is beyond words. Thank you. Good morning, my name is Deacon Matt Kane. I'm a seminarian for the Diocese of St. Augustine, and I want to share a little bit about Father Mooney. Uh, Father Mooney's played a very large role in my vocation. Uh, as a matter of fact, he was not only the first priest I spoke to when I was thinking about the priesthood, but he was the first person. When I felt the calling in my heart, I, I knew I needed to talk to somebody, so I went over to Father Mooney's office and asked if I could speak with him, and he immediately dropped whatever he was doing and invited me into his office, and he shared a little bit about his own journey being in Ireland and in the hills and going to praying and being with the Lord and how that affected his, his heart and his calling and he knew that God was calling him to the priesthood. And I felt a lot of similarities and parallels in my own life. Um, he got me in touch with the vocation director at the time 
And six months later, I was in the seminary. So it's amazing to see the, the role that Father Mooney played uh, in my own personal vocation. And I've always regarded Father Mooney as an extremely um, holy, uh, uh, joyful, and caring priest. Very pastoral heart. Uh, one of my favorite stories, I was walking through his rectory one day, and he has a private chapel in there. And I look over and I see near the tabernacle, there was a little stack of papers. So I asked Father, I said, Father, what is that? What's the pa- what are the papers there? And he said, it's his homily for that weekend. He said he likes to let Jesus read it before he preaches it. Father Mooney's played a great role in my vocation. I have no doubt he will continue to play a role in my vocation. I'm so grateful for everything he has done for me in my life. And I look forward to calling him my brother priest one day. Thank you and God bless. Father Mooney, happy 50th anniversary. We are all proud of you. I have known you since 1966, my first two years in the seminary. I was always impressed with your tremendous spirituality, calmness, uh, wisdom, and just peace. Uh, You were one of the first priests, Father Mooney, that brought me over uh, from Ireland uh, to St. Augustine. I've known you in all your assignments. Uh, I've been very impressed with your obvious spirituality, your ability to be a chaplain, to be a good confessor. And you're the one priest I can truly say not only preaches the gospel, but lives the gospel. And that is certainly important. Uh, You have a great architectural and artistic sense, as is demonstrated in the layout of uh, Corpus Christi. In my opinion, you have the most beautiful hall in the diocese. Very well thought through and done. We're glad to have you now in this chapter of your life at San Sebastian, uh, where you are providing tremendous uh, uh, service as uh, in your weekly articles and uh, your being available for confessions, we thank you. Have many, many more happy years. Slawness bath banat daylath macarda gael. Congratulations, Father Mooney, on your 50th ordination anniversary. June 9th, 1968 to June 9th, 2018. 50 years. That's quite a quite an accomplishment. And I know the time's flown by. It probably seems like just yesterday that you were ordained in Ireland and, and had your dog walking up the first aisle, up the church aisle, um, uh, on your first mass. Um, you've touched so many lives 
um, over that time and so many lives I know have touched yours. In fact, Sandy um, has, she was Presbyterian and converted to Catholicism uh, because of you and, um, and also because of uh, Pope John Paul II, now St. John Paul II. Um, so we feel very blessed um, to have had you as part of our lives and all of our kids always, you know, ha we all have such a special place in our heart for you and always will. And we are so blessed and, and thankful that we can celebrate this day with you. And so may God bless you um, and all your family. And congratulations again. And thank you for baptizing me nine years ago. I, I still have the book you gave me when I was baptized, and now we're going to sing a poem from, from it. One, two, three, and go. I know I am me from my head to my toes, my hands and my fingers, my ears and my nose. Whatever I'll do, whatever I'll be, whatever and always I'll know I'll be me. That's the best thing to be. Bye. Bye. Hello, Billy. Coleman here. Greetings from Menlo. This is Paddy. I don't think you ever met Paddy. Paddy Gohan. Congratulations on your 50th. Um, it's a great achievement. Enjoy every minute of it. Uh, sorry we couldn't be there. Maybe we'll get to meet next year. Enjoy every second. You deserve it. Hopefully we'll see you next year. Goodbye for now and again, enjoy the day. Well done. Hi Billy, Ursula here. Just want to say congratulations on your 50th anniversary. Hope you have a wonderful celebration in June with your family and friends. And hope to see you soon. Bye-bye. Billy, it's Damien and Michelle. Just wanted to say best wishes on your special day. Sorry we can't make your 50th ordination, but hope you have an amazing time. You totally deserve it. Huge congratulations from us, and we can't wait to see the photos. Have a great time. Bye, Bye Billy. Billy. Congratulations on the 50th anniversary of your ordination. We are delighted that this special occasion is being celebrated in honour of your 50 years of hard work and dedication. We're sorry that we can't be there to celebrate with you. 
but we're very happy that some of the Mooney Gohan clan can be there with you on your special day. We hope you have a fantastic day and look forward to seeing you in Galway very soon. Slanchan, I hope you are well. Well done on your 50th anniversary. Congratulations. I hope you have a great day. You deserve all the celebrations because you worked very hard. So I hope you enjoy yourself. Everything is fine here. Bye bye for now. God bless. Um, then I call it the unfolding of a mystery. The unfolding of a mystery. Personal, but, but, but God's mystery at the same time. God's plan for each individual person. And even when I look through the, the parishes I've been in, the others, a special role in making me the person God wanted me to be. And, and um, now it's my reason for living. Oh, nothing else. Nothing else.